how many of you out there actually know what the edge truly is? How far will you go when pushed beyond your levels of comfort and joy? What would you do to take back something that was stolen from you? Fighting, knowing no matter how much pain, how much retribution you cause, how many people you put behind bars, it will never give you back what you truly desire. And then it becomes a quest, a crusade, where you go off into the shadows and you take from them one face after another, another. And then you wake up and you don't even recognize who and what you were, it changes you, taints you. Now, when you swim through all that darkness, is it really worth it? It is said that when a man goes looking for vengeance, he should dig two graves. One for the man he's after, and the second for himself. What up, everybody? I'm Jack Slater, a.k.a. The Comic Outlaw. Yeah! And I'm going to give you a little background first. Thomas Aurelius. You know who that is? He was an emperor back in the Roman times, during the decline of the Golden Age. He wrote a few books and philosophies, which are going to come into play a little later. That's why I'm going over who he is now. He wrote some very interesting quotes. All right, I have this up here, so I, I don't get it wrong. The tranquility comes when you stop caring what they say or think or do. Only do what you do. Do not be distracted by their darkness. Run straight to the finish line, unswerving. He wrote a lot of these philosophies, and they're kind of like, they, they sort of tell you how to be a hero, how to be this ideal person, to reach in and find the better person in you, to embrace justice and not vengeance, to walk a path, a narrow path it may be, between the light and the dark. Now you're wondering why I'm giving you all this background. Because it has to do with one of the best kick-ass action movies I've seen in a very long time. Antonio Benendez, Acts of Vengeance. And yes, I got this from a thrift store, so I don't give a shit. Acts of Vengeance is about an attorney. A fast-talking attorney who bends the law who gets these men off of these horrific charges and it's all about the money for him but he does have a life he does have a wife a family a daughter who he loves but he can't he's too selfish to do things for them he's always thinking about himself his career how to advance his career to make money to support them but it's mostly about his ego until one terrible day it all comes to a screeching halt. His wife and child slaughtered. Yeah, spoilers. And left in a storm drain to rot. Now a man, they would say over 5,000 words a day, and some astronomical number like that, they say in the beginning. He gets depressed. He starts drinking. There seems to be no way out of this case. And there's a cop that's kind of helping him play by Carl Urban. Uh, he, he comes into play later. And he's just drinking. He's looking for punishment. He, he finds this underground fight club. He begins going there and getting the crap kicked out of him. And then one day when he's drinking, he finds a book by 
Marcus Aurelius. And uh, this book by Marcus Aurelius kind of teaches him how to, uh, like basically just how to live again, how to find a new path. And it, he takes a vow of silence. He doesn't talk anymore. And since he doesn't talk, his other senses pick up a little bit. Not like Daredevil level, but he's more aware of everything. He's not distracted by everything in the world. He has one focus to find these people who killed his wife and daughter. This movie is completely fascinating. Antonio Benendez does a wonderful job of being able to get the point across without saying anything. It's a very fascinating story. It kind of reminds me of those, like, a, like an old Chinese Kung Fu movie, sort of. Where, like, the man with no name, or the man who doesn't say a word, and yet you understand everything that he's saying, or he's doing. You understand his heartbreak, his struggle. Now, Carl Urban's character plays a cop that kind of befriends him, but he has his own darkness. Spoilers. And uh, as you find out, Antonio Benendez's character is responsible for getting one of the men off that ends up shooting his wife and child. So it's a very vicious circle. So chicken and the egg. You create one darkness, it consumes something else. And the wheel just keeps on turning. But Benendez, he knows how to, he learns how to fight. He learns how to hunt these people down. And it's just a, a very interesting movie. It grips you. You can feel this man's pain. You want so bad to reach out, to understand. And if you've lost someone or if you've been in a situation where it's just so tragic, you know, you feel for this character. And the movie, it, it has a lot of action scenes, but it has a lot of heart to it. And it, it get kind of gives you a definition of what a superhero could be. Marcus Aurelius, his writings would be relevant in a Batman comic. They'd be relevant in any superhero genre because of the quotes that this man did. He did so many different quotes. It's just amazing how this man views on justice and the way a person should be in public to the people, to, the, to their own country. It, it was a, like a, a seed of superhero origin. No matter what anyone says or does, my task is to be good, like gold or emerald or purple, repeating to itself. No matter what anyone says or does, my task to be emerald, my color undiminished. These quotes from this king ends up inspiring this man to find something else inside of him, to come back from the brink, the abyss. And I've spoken to you about the abyss before. I've spoken to you about it many times. And you have a choice when you're staring down that abyss. Here's another good one. These kind of make a lot of sense when you watch the movie. You're given aid and they've received it. And yet, like an idiot, you keep holding off more. To be credited with a good deed? To be repaid in kind? Why? A superhero quote if ever I heard one. You don't do good for a reward. You do it because it's right. I've often said that we don't 
do things the hero or villain business because it's fun or it is fun but it's not we wear the mask we go out there and play the game because it's who we are because we're compelled you see something going on outside your window and you decide whether you're going to do bad or good it's always a choice and it becomes no more clearer than this movie right here Acts of Vengeance would you take a vow of silence and not say a word until your wife and child's killer was found and done in by your own hand This movie asks a lot of questions and it gives a lot of answers. Who are you after tragedy, after you're broken? The best swords are forged in some of the hottest fires. And you find out what you're truly made of when you're baptized by it. Will the flames consume you? Will you walk out of it changed, different, something more, not less? Like I said, this is a very good movie. Antonio Benendez does a fantastic job in getting the point across without having to talk, which is very, very hard to do. I recommend this movie. I also recommend Looking up Marcus Aurelius's works, fantastic stuff. I can sit here and just push the button, and uh, I've been just reading random quotes to you. The man's philosophies speak to you when you read them. It's almost like a superhero or a hero giving you advice. That that sounded like something Superman would say. You do a good deed. Why would you expect payment for doing it? It just flows together really well. This, this could easily be the origin of a superhero. You know, given, given like the right circumstances or a little bit of cosmic radiation or whatever, this man could have become Captain America or Batman. But he's just an ordinary man trying to take back what's his. And I find that even more compelling. Here, I'll close. I'll close with uh, one more quote. Do eternal, external things distract you? Then make time for yourself and learn something worthwhile. Stop letting yourself be pulled in all directions, but make sure you guard against others or other kind of confusion. People who labor their lives and have no purpose to direct every thought and impulse towards wasting their time even when they're hard at work at it. Even when hard at work. I mean, like, it's just like these quotes grip you. It, it's just, it's so interesting how people say the origin of the hero was from a comic book. I think the origin of the hero has always been there. The idea that every man can do, man and woman or whatever can do good, can seek justice, can find another path even if they walk the path of darkness they can tread that fine line every man and woman is of good and of evil of dark and of light of justice and vengeance and it's up to you to decide what line you will walk and how it will determine the path that you will set on for the rest of your life so choose wisely Choose wisely. The road is only so long, and you have only so many miles to run depending on the path that you choose. So yes, I recommend this movie, and I recommend that you look at your path, and you stop for a minute and see the direction that you're going, and ask yourself, where does it lead? And do I want to go there? 
And as always, I'll catch you on the flip side. Yeah, yeah.